is a work of art. What's the title? Oh, yeah. What's the title? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the title? Oh. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Chekhov's finest work of art. No, the play is actually called a work of art. One of those weird Russian things, like the furry hats. <laughs> <laughs> we begin, of course, in a doctor's office, which we may assume is in the Russian countryside, where everybody is listless and depressed. <laughs> you may notice a few objects of importance here, notably a loaded gun and a stuffed bird. Don't worry about these. They won't come back later in the play. <laughs> no, seriously, they won't. It's an adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> and now the story. Enter, Sasha Smirnoff. Oh, oh, my dear boy, how are you? How's it going? Oh, it's going so well. My mother, she sends her regards and begs me to thank you. I am my mother's only son, and you have saved my life. You cured me of a terrible disease. And the hardly know how to thank you. Come, come, my young friend, let's not speak of it. I have only done what anybody else in my place would have done. But I am the only son of my mother. We are poor people, and consequently, I'm not in the position to pay you for your trouble, which is sort of embarrassing for us. But both of us, my mother and I, the only son of my mother, beg you to take as a token of our gratitude, this object, which is an object of rare worth, a wonderful masterpiece of antique bronze. My friend, it's entirely unnecessary. I don't need this in the least. Oh, no, 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 no. I beg of you, please accept it. If you do not accept this, you will offend my mother and myself, because this is a very rare work of art, an antique bronze <coughs> candelabra. It's a relic left by my dead father. We've been prizing it for a very dear remembrance. My father used to buy up old brands and bronze antiques, selling them to lovers of old statues. And now we continue the same business, my mother and I. It's worth saying at this point that the candlestick holder inside the box is completely inappropriate for the eyes of the general public. I mean, the doctor might like it, but that's saying something about the doctor, you know? <laughs> and no, you will not get to see what's inside the box at any point. Sorry, Sanjay. <laughs> but seriously, if you want to see it later, come by my room. I charge 10 rubles. Uh, very nice piece of work. But, um, I mean, it's unconventional, yeah? It's not really that sophisticated, you know? The devil knows. Why? What? Bees above himself could not conceive of a more ugly object! <laughs> <laughs> Should I take such a phantasmagoria upon my table, it would pollute my entire office! <laughs> phantasmagoria? What in the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna look at my iPhone. <laughs> a sequence of real or imaginary images, like seen in a dream. I'll use it in Boggle. <laughs> Doctor, what a strange conception you have of art. This is a real masterpiece. Just look at it. Such is its harmonious beauty that just to <laughs> contemplate it fills the soul with ecstasy and makes the throat choke down a sob. <laughs> it's loveliness. You forget about all earthly things. Just look at it. What life, what motion, what expression. <laughs> I quite understand all of this, but I am a married man. <laughs> Little children run in and out of my room, and decent company comes here to do Of course, of course. If you look at it through the eyes of the rabble, you see this noble masterpiece in an entirely different light. But certainly you are above all that, aren't you, Doctor? And especially <laughs> when your refusal to accept this gift will deeply offend both my mother and I, and 
I am the only son of my mother. <laughs> You've saved my life. In return, we give you our dearest possession. And my only regret is that we are unable to get you the mate to this candelabrum. <laughs> <laughs> well, many, many thanks, my friend. Give your mother my regards and... Oh, but for God's sake, you can see for yourself, can't you? Little children, <laughs> you <can't even> out. <laughs> Ladies, come here continually. <laughs> Leave it here. There's no use arguing with yes, you. Don't say another word. The candelabrum belongs right here, next to this vase. By Jove, it's a pity I didn't get to give you the, I don't have the mate to give you, but it can't be helped. <coughs> well, goodbye, doctor. <laughs> be a pity to throw it away. I dare not keep it. Who in the world could I give this to? <coughs> I know I'm indebted to Ivan for legal services. Being such a close friend of his, I can't give him money. I'll give him this little piece of indecency instead. <laughs> Just the man for it. Single and a kind of strange bird. Ah, Ivan. Single, strange, bird like. <laughs> it's almost as if he's the Russian Sanjay. <laughs> <laughs> gathered up the unwieldy object in its box and marched over to the office of Ivan, the single Sanjay-like lawyer. <laughs> Good morning, old chap. Good morning. I have come here to thank you for your trouble. You won't take money, I know, I know. So I'll therefore repay you by presenting you with this exquisite masterpiece. Now, say for yourself, isn't it a dream? Ah! What a wonderful work of art! <laughs> Ye gods! What conceptions artists will get in their heads! What alluring charm! Where did you get this little dandy? <clears throat> but That's what she said. <laughs> but, but I can't... I can't accept this, old chap. You must take it back right now. Why? Why? <laughs> because my mother often visits me. My clients come here. And besides, I'd be disgraced even in the eyes of my servants. <laughs> Don't say another word. <laughs> if you simply got to accept it, it would be great ingratitude for you to refuse it. It's such a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Joshkin. The rascal loves such things. And besides, it's his benefit night. So the lawyer, too, decided to ship off the antique to the next unsuspecting professional. We find the comedian and his wig maker in their dressing room. <laughs> they had just received the package from Ivan. An actress knocks on their door. Oh! Don't come in! I'm not dressed! <laughs> now what in the world do we do with this? I live in a private apartment. Actresses come here often. <coughs> photograph one can simply stuff in a drawer. Why don't you sell it? There's a certain old lady who lives with her only son. And her only name, son? Only son. Her only son. Her name's Spinova, and she likes to collect bronze antiques. Go that way. You'll certainly find her. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, back in the doctor's office. Oh, doctor! Doctor, imagine my joy, as luck would have it, I succeeded in getting the mate to the table. <laughs> <laughs>